After letting this sit for about a week, I'm still really, really impressed with all the work we managed to do in the last video with destroying the World Destroyer and destroying this mega area we have around the place. And next video, we'll finally start doing some progress around this one place, but which would you like to see me do first? Start doing some terrain down below here, or start building one of the mega structures up on this one surface? Let me know down below, but I think today there's some other matters of business I need to attend to. So, the town. Now, I think everyone can collectively say that the town so far has been going in a pretty good direction. However, to be honest, without any proper leadership in the town, it's sort of just going all over the place. Like, we have these roads that don't go all over the place, we have just random warped blocks all over the place. There's still random starter farms around these houses. There's boats in the water. I mean, an utter disgust. Grace, uh, completely, completely disgusting right here. So this clearly, clearly needs to be changed and needs to be managed better. Which is why I am going to get into the world of cosmic politics by starting a mayor campaign. And surprise, surprise, that's what this sign was all about from the start. Because honestly, I think if one of the chessboat bros became mayor of the cosmic town and the shopping district and everything, that's just an undeniable fact that everything will just become better for everyone. So this probably calls for a chessboat bro meeting, if I was able to get anyone to the chessboat bro meeting, but unfortunately I wasn't able to. But all I was going to say at the meeting is, I could easily throw my hat into the ballot and everything, and I think I just win off of clout alone, which doesn't necessarily seem too fair. But you know, I don't want to single myself out either for this one race. But then begs the question, which chess bro, bro would be best in running for mayor of the town? And honestly, I think I have a pretty good solution to figure that out. By popping into a creative world and growing a whole bunch of trees, and whichever one of these trees grows first, that must be a sign that they should be the mayor. And considering chess boats are made out of wood, I think this solution is completely and totally foolproof. So if we just turn the random tick speed up a little bit. And now this is going to determine literally who we are going to campaign for for mayor. And oh, who's this? Who's actually going to be the mayor? It's James. James is going to be mayor. The one living in the end is the one we're going to be campaigning for in the end. I mean, I'm sure we can we can make this work out with James. S somehow, hopefully. But to have any hopes of James actually becoming mayor, we need to start off with the basics being marketing. And I'm sure you and everyone else knows the best way in marketing inside of a Minecraft world. By getting some of these, turning them into one of these, and then getting about 16,000 blocks to fill it in. Some blocks are harder to get, some blocks are easier to get, but I think for right now, let's focus on getting some of the easier blocks. Which just so happens to be in this time lapse. Many hours of gathering later, and I think I have most of what I'm going to need for this one map art project. Or at the very least, most of the easy stuff I could gather. But there's one item in particular that I'm going to need about a thousand of to actually do this map art project, and that is cobwebs. And for my very quick caving around the surrounding area around here, I managed to find one abandoned mine shaft to get myself this many. I need to fill up almost an entire shulker box full, as well as get quite a lot of raw iron, as well as a bunch of other stuff too. Which means I need to go on a cave expedition. And while I go adventuring looking for some caves, I actually had so much spare gunpowder from Abe King, and James, being in the end, actually needed quite a lot of, uh, of gunpowder for, for firework rockets. And seeing as most of this episode is about James, I decided to pop over to the end and see what his, uh, his base is like. Also, I haven't once told him about the fact that he is running for mayor and that is going to remain a secret until this map art project is done. But anyways, let's go meet up with James. I'm almost there. I'm, this is so exciting. I've never been to the end before in this season. <laughs> well, well, the only way out is, um... Death, I know. going to be a little painful. Actually, hold on. On the way, I'm gonna pick up more gunpowder. There you go. Killing some creepers <laughs> on the way. <laughs> are the you waiting for me there? Are Catch. you waiting for me there? Oh, yeah, Yes, we are at the other other end waiting. I'm gonna. Th on. Do you see the gunpowder coming through? You see some yes. gunpowder. <gasps> gunpowder! Right. In I go. In he go. Hey. Hello. How you Hello. doing? We're doing good. Did I've we bring a pumpkin for Chris? I've not seen oh. you in so long. Blaze, it's good to see you again. Yes. Should we go someplace safer? That's not. Yes, we with, can go to with... the chess boat bro HQ. Ooh, ooh, I've, I've not, I've not seen yours in person yet. I've heard. Grab a mule. Oh, okay. 
Uh, there's there's a mule. mule right here. Any, yeah. Mule. Yay. Okay. And you just go. So I go this way. What do you think of the chess boat bro HQ? That's it. Yeah, this is. This is I will this is say it. you're being for being in the end. This is very impressive. <laughs> and you've yeah, I think you've seen what I did. Mm-hmm. And for the oh. I, I'd say for the overworld I went ambitious, and for the end you went very ambitious. But it's kind of <laughs> it's kind of a journey to get out here, don't you think? It is quite a journey. It's yes, interesting you're doing fun. all this without even touching the dragon. Blaze, could you please apply the thing I'm that trying. gets rid of the buzzing? Okay, it's updating. Okay. Blaze is updating. pretty quiet still and kind of muffly. But I'm just about getting yeah. what he's saying. Can I do? Can I do the showing around, please, please? So, are you planning on building like a mega base here, or is it just like things like this? We're gonna be building a mega base, and um, there's going. To, it, we're probably gonna put it. Oh, I accidentally hit a frog. We're gonna put it over by the um, iron farm on that island because it's a lot bigger, and we're thinking something along the lines of a ziggurat. I don't know what that yeah. is, but that sounds exciting. Fancy. And Fancy. It, and yeah, it makes moss, which goes into the chests, which get... Well, it goes into the composters, which makes bone meal, which then goes into the chests. And some of it gets put back up here so it can keep running itself. Okay. Can I show you something interesting I discovered recently? Yeah, show away. I, dis show away. I discovered you. there is a way to farm dirt. If you plant an azalea on moss, and then you bone meal it, mm -hmm. it turns the moss underneath it into rooted dirt. Which, if you use a hoe on it, if I can craft one really quick, I have right. a, I have one. Which means you could turn stone boom. into moss, moss into rooted dirt, rooted dirt into dirt, dirt into mud mud into clay is legit renewable clay is legit <laughs> renewable you have blown my mind with that with that fact like how have, how has no one ever put two and two together well i just figured it out by accident the other day <laughs> before i forget and before i die uh gunpowder gunpowder where yes, can I play way. said gunpowder? Because I have a lot for you. Follow me this way. Gunpowder for all. Can go in here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Tina just gave you endstone. Is it possible if I could get maybe a shulker? Possibly? Yes. Because I'm yes. currently working on a certain something that involves a lot of storage. Okay, you can have one, two, three, four. You can Ooh. have two shulkers. Ooh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And yeah. also, said project, you will have to come over to the overworld and see, or I'll have to come back here to show you. Wow. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that'll that'll be great. That'll maybe be nice. maybe at the chestboat bro HQ you built. We'll see. <laughs> well, so far I'm very impressed that you managed to get all this done. Get <laughs> horses in here, cows, sheep, iron farms, yeah. villagers, all this stuff just in the end. It's very impressive, and I will very impressive. One hundred percent have to make another visit eventually when you build more things up. Definitely. So, are you gonna put your stuff in an ender chest? That is probably a good idea. Let's do it. Let's do it the proper way. Wait, 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 wait. He's. Is there a proper way? No, you can. You can have. You can have the semi honors. One Should I? Should I click the? Wait, 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 wait. Is that what I No, no, no. Not, not in there. Wait, 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 wait. Make him a bed. Blaze, if you make him a bed and and take him over to the iron farm and let him just just yeet. Okay, bring over this way, over this way. Right here. Right here is good. I'm gonna get out of the way over here. There's the bed. Just sleep whenever you're ready. Can I sleep just sitting down on the bed? Is that is that gonna work? I, I kind of feel like laying down is the best way to do it. Oh, okay. Ow! Uh-oh! Enderman! I, I, that, Please, that's my quickly. type of- Oh! It's so 
That is so oh. anticlimactic. We wanted That's to. The, way he goes the Enderman got angry. That's... I could see why you don't like yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> And after that painful and untimely demise, I spent the past four or five days or something like that just going through mine shafts and gathering up as much string as I can, and some have been smaller than others, some have been bigger than others, but generally speaking, I think we have enough to, to at least get started on what I want to do. That, and also I'm getting incredibly tired of being down below in these caves. Oh, the sky! It's been so long. But yeah, I think I'll be building it over where I fought those two with those the other day. So let's hop ourselves over there, pop into a time lapse, and let's get to work. About two weeks of long, hard work later, and everything is finally, finally done. And honestly, if it wasn't for these stupid cobwebs, I totally would have gotten this done in maybe a week, or something like that, something a little more reasonable than what it actually took. And I still not mentioned a single thing about the fact that James is running for mayor, and I tend to keep it that way for at least a little bit longer, but yeah, this map project, what does it end up looking like? Well, it looks something just like this. And yeah, honestly, everything I wanted to do for this one map project is working and working fairly well, though there's maybe a few things that I didn't account for, such as with sort of the, uh, the color palettes. Say, for example, the skin tone I gave to this map art of James is a little bit paler to his actual skin tone, and the surrounding light gray and gray areas, they were supposed to be slightly more whitish to actually blend into the actually, you know, white bit in the center. I'll throw the original image on screen just so you can compare the original piece to the actual map art, but even with these slight little incidences with the colors and things like that, I still think what we managed to do is 100% gonna help James in his candidacy. Not candidacy, a uh, campaign. Campaign for running for mayor, that's it. But I am so, so looking forward to actually see what James's reaction is when he actually finds out he is running for mayor. Which, to be honest, will probably be later in the video. But honestly, while working on that map bar, quite a few number of mayor types of things came to mind when working on it. But there's one thing in particular that I think, whether we win or lose this campaign, that we are going to absolutely need for a mayor. And that is, of course, a mayor's office. And I've actually come up with a fairly decent design for one. The only proper thing I've not really designed is the furnishing, which, let's be honest, that's that's for whoever wins. And we don't know if we're going to win, we don't know how well we're going to do. But however James and the Chessbro Bros do at the end, I think around here is where we could put the actual mayor's office. Because honestly, I don't think we're going to be using this spot for anything else, really. Actually, it might be better to put the office over in this part of the town. One, I'm not exactly sure how many more shops are going to be built around here. And two, this mayor's office is actually fairly big, and I don't want to have to accidentally build in a place that's not big enough. But I guess just to make sure we have enough space, let's actually lay out the floor plans. And from the looks of things, it just about managed to fit in. And looking at the outer framework made me realize that there was no way this building was going to fit over where I originally wanted to put it. And so I began by building up the exterior of the first floor of this mayor's office. And for what we did so far, it's actually looking pretty good. I'm trying to be fairly realistic with what this mayor's office is actually going to eventually look like. And also eventually the main shopping district portal is going to be moved to right here because where it is right now is kind of in an awkward spot and it's kind of awkward to get in and out of so I think having one being much closer to the shopping district is probably a good idea in the end. But now it's time to head upstairs to work on the second floor. And pretty much most of what I did on the first floor, I'm just going to be copying on the second floor with the big windows, with the sandstone walls and everything like that. But it's not going to be exactly the same because up here there's going to be two layers of roofs. One's going to be on this layer, then the second one's going to be up there. Which means it's really hard to tell where you're actually going to have to build without having these roofs in. 
So I guess it's a better time than any to actually fill in these rooms right here, building it with these smooth stone slabs. And then around the rooms, we can actually fill in the rest of the walls up here. And with just a few exceptions, the entire exterior of this entire mayor's office is pretty much completed. But have I been calling this thing the complete wrong thing this entire time? Isn't it like a town hall or something like that? Oh, well. Oh, it, it, mayor's office. It's a mayor's office. <laughs> and also, Puffy's come around to do just a little bit of texturing around here on the stone brick area. And from the looks of things, there's just a little bit more to do on the side. But yeah, exterior-wise, this is looking fantastic in what you would typically expect for a mayor to actually be working in. But speaking of working in here, there's clearly, uh, not much to, to work with inside of here. And again, most of the furnishing I'm just gonna leave up to whoever wins the mayor candidacy, but I think I need to build in at least, like, the main rooms and maybe just do a tiny bit of furnishing at the very least. And so I very quickly did that by building in the first floor with several different types of rooms and a main hallway, as well as an upstairs room, which is where the mayor and maybe the vice mayor, if you want to call it, that is going to be. But now that the inside and all the rooms are built up, let me actually show you around. So this is the main area you're actually going to be walking in. Over here is a hallway linked up to a whole bunch of rooms, which I think are going to... Oh, wait a minute. I had a feeling I was missing something around here, but yeah, all these rooms are pretty much going to be office rooms because for a mayor or I guess any politician, they do have a team and I think that team is something called a cabinet i don't know i don't know something like that but basically whatever team the uh, the mayor is actually going to have they're gonna have their own separate offices here and there around the place over here we have a nice little reception desk and these two rooms they were originally going to be men and women's bathroom until i realized that there's a big old window just in the back there and i think uh privacy wise that's not really gonna work out so i think these two will also be uh, offices for uh for the mayor's team and heading upstairs we get the main offices we get the main mayor's office we can see right here and then heading over in this direction we have we have this uh, nice little balcony over here heading over to the vice mayor the the secondary mayor whatever mayor you have in just in case of emergencies mayor i don't know we have Two big offices upstairs that that's what i'm trying to say and honestly i really hope james wins this one because you know he's a chess boat bro and two because i really love this building and i'd really love to do even more with it on the inside and things like that but speaking about the chess boat bros i think it's about time we have another chess boat bro meeting to discuss uh james's candidacy for actually becoming mayor and i think also this is going to be the first time we'll actually be using the main air ship what hap what's what they're all gone, chess boats will fall, only rising heights will be your savior. What the heck happened here? Who, what manner of thing has done this to my, to my chess boat bro HQ? Oh, and it goes inside of here too, with trap doors and everything, does it go- Okay, it doesn't go down here. Now, I could leave this, but honestly, this is our first chess bro bro meeting, like, up here. So, we gotta, we gotta clean this up. And thank goodness I did that Ocean Monument clearing with Eva the other day. And, okay, okay, all of them are cleared up. We just need to put some more chess boats back up here, and then we could have our meeting. But I have a feeling I know who actually did this, but we'll, we'll worry about that later. We'll worry about that later. Because now, meeting time. Question, wait, wait, quick question. Before the meeting starts, quick question. Why is there a empty seat over there? We, okay. Palmer so, is temporary banned. Yeah, because he <laughs> doesn't know the chess boat bro code. He's not been at a single meeting. So I think at least for now, we're going to attempt ban him. And if he doesn't okay, work back enough, in, then. we could get another person in. Okay. But. Yeah. I mentioned this on Discord. We've been doing, I've been preparing Mara stuff. Which one out of the five of us would you think would be best for Mara? Probably you. James. I say mm. me. Hmm. I, say, I say me. <laughs> Just because I put myself in a lot of leadership positions. That is true. Can, that's like, very true. Can, I, I come with experience, so. Can I, can I give a suggestion? Can I have a suggestion? Go on. No. I've been thinking about this. I've been doing some scientific research. And at the very end, my results came back. And the results came in that we should campaign... James for mayor. No, joking. <laughs> Wait, you did not. <laughs> Whoa. What? <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I'm that running for mayor. I, uh, um, uh, uh, I'm. Uh, <laughs> I told you it's been taking weeks and weeks to prepare. <laughs> um, that is amazing. 
Because I asked Chris, I asked Chris something the other day. Then Chris, are you busy? And he said, "Yeah, I'm doing something for mayor." I was like, "Oh, okay." What's this? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. I'm flattered. Uh, yeah. Let's put that to a vote. I'm gonna get back in my boat. <laughs> <laughs> DJ so, going crazy on the side. So. Chris says I should be mayor. Obviously. Uh, what yes. do you guys think? <laughs> I agree with that. You if you're up that? for it, go for it. Mm -hmm. DJ? My vote is up. Yep. All right. Well, it's four to one, so I guess I'm going for mayor. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mention this to anyone until the campaigning starts, just to show them off. <laughs> Just to okay. just be like, we mean business here at the Chess Boat Bros. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. uh, Chris, there's there's one one small problem with with this. I hate I hate to be that guy. Oh, but why are my why why are my pants? What? I'm confused. Oh, yeah, they're, they're blue. blue. They're blue. <laughs> they're, no, 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 no. He's dressed. Uh, he's, he, no, 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 no. He's dressed for the occasion. Yeah, mayor, just, mayor pants. You just put mayor different pants, pants. on. I just put I put on my mayoral pants. Yeah. I think James took that well. And over the next couple weeks of campaigning, I will do everything I can, mention it every single place I can, to get James elected for mayor. The campaigning is on, the campaigning is real, but for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.